Hi guys and welcome to Teen Tech News. Today we're gonna answer this simple question. How to record audio on Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi doesn't have an audio input in the first place. The audio jack you can see on the board is a not put only. So what do we need to record? Well, we're gonna need an input and a microphone. The solutions are First, connecting a USB microphone directly to the Raspberry Pi. Second, using an external sound card connected to the Raspberry Pi through the USB port. Third, using an audio hat. In this video, we'll use the most simple and cheap solution, recording an audio through a USB microphone. You can find lots of USB microphone on the web. Maybe you already have a USB headset with microphone for your internet calls. For my YouTube videos, I usually work with a professional Rode microphone and a M Audio Truck Duo sound card connected to my PC. But for this experiment, I bought on purpose a cheap and decent USB microphone, a Truss Mantis GXT232. You can buy it on Amazon for just 25 euros with a shock mount, a pop filter, and the tripod stand. I'm gonna upload a review of this microphone very soon, so I suggest you to check my channel in a few days. Now that the hardware is all set, we're gonna need the software to record. What do you prefer? Writing commands lines on the terminal or installing dedicated software? I use both the solutions and I totally prefer a dedicated software. So, we're gonna install Audacity together. For those who don't know it, Audacity is an open source free software for recording and editing audio. It's cross-platform, so it can run on all major operating systems like Windows, MacOS and Linux. We can follow two methods to install it. Through Snap Store, a cross-platform packaging and deployment system developed by Canonical. Second, through search list, typing a simple command line on our Raspberry terminal. The first method takes a bit, but it gives you a more recent Audacity version, whereas the second method is simpler, but you get an older Audacity version. Before we start, it's always a good practice to update your system typing in your Raspberry terminal, sudo apt update, then sudo apt full upgrade and in the end sudo reboot. The system is now updated, so let's install Audacity following the first method. Let's type on our terminal sudo apt install snap, then sudo reboot. Then let's type sudo snap install core and sudo snap install audacity. Finally, from the start menu, let's navigate to sound and video and here we can see the icon of the newly installed audacity. Let's have a quick overview of the second installation method, navigating to preferences and clicking on head remove software. On the top left box, let's type Audacity. The system will search for the right installation packages. Flagging the first two checkboxes will allow us to install Audacity. I won't deepen the audio production process within Audacity because I prefer to work with Adobe Audition. However, let's see how to record a voiceover and how to export it. Let's click on record and let's speak to the microphone. We can see drawing the audio waveform in the timeline and the view meter following our voice levels. One, two, three, check. One, two, three, check. And let's type on stop. We can export the audio track clicking on file and then export as MP3 or export as WAV. I hope you will deepen the main audio production steps like noise reduction, normalize, compression and equalization. Well, we stop here, thanks for your time and please, if you enjoyed this video, just take a bit of your time to subscribe, like and share it. See you soon!